Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 165 and we're going to go over the Node Expire module. I am Shane Thomas, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to head over to CodeKarate.com and click on the link over here to learn a little bit about the ebook called The Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja and take a look at that. But let's go ahead and get started. The Node Expire module, it allows you to basically set a timer on your nodes and when that timer goes off or when that node is un expired, then you can run specific rules actions. This is useful if you want to unpublish a node after a set amount of time, if you want to remove it from the front page, or if you want to do something like send an email to the author, a whole bunch of different things. You really have the power of rules to do whatever you want with that node when it expires. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. You're going to make sure you need the rules module downloaded and installed on your site. As you can see, rules and rules UI has been turned on. You'll also need the date module. Well, you actually don't need this, but if you want to be able to use a date pop-up rather than using a text field, you will need the date pop-up module and that just comes with date so turn on the date and date pop-up modules in the list and then you will of course need the node expire module and you'll need to turn that on once the node expire module is turned on we're going to go ahead and configure this module you can select how you want to handle it I'm going to go ahead and just ignore the legacy mode but the first option that you might want to look at is to run the content expired event every cron run. So this means every time cron runs after a node has been expired, the content expired event will run for that node. The other option and the one that we're going to look at is the trigger the content expired event only once when the node is expired. In this case, it's only ever going to trigger one time. And we're going to go ahead and leave it at that option we're going to select to use a date pop-up rather than a text field just to make it a little easier and we're also going to check this box to allow expire date in the past and that's just going to let us move the demo along a little bit faster so we can actually set a date in the past and see that it's working so we click save the next step is to set up what we want our rule to do so I'm going to go into configuration workflow rules and I'm going to go ahead and add a new rule. If you're not familiar with rules, check out some of the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos on configuring the rules module and how to use the rules module. We're going to give this a name of content is expired. This could be whatever you want it to be, just so you know what it's doing. The event is the important part here, and you're going to see there's an option called content expired. This didn't exist before we installed the node expire module. Let's go ahead and select that and click save and now you have rules that you can set up your actions to do whatever you want so as I said before if you wanted to unpublish the node if you wanted to send an email you could do all that kind of stuff using rules we're going to remove content from the front page in this example and we're going to go ahead and select save and our goal here is to have an article and set an expiration date and after so long we want that article to no longer show up on the front page so this should help us accomplish that the next step is going to be turning the node expiration on for our content type as I mentioned before we want to use an article so we're gonna click edit on the article content type we're going to head down to the publishing options and check the box next to enable node expiry you can set a default expiration time. This uses the PHP string to time format, so you, it's pretty flexible in what you can do. I'm going to set a default of plus 30 days, and this means anytime you create a node and you want it to expire, it's going to default to 30 days out. You can also set the expiration date limit. You can set if you want it to be required or not required. So we'll click Save Content Type and we will now look at one of these specific articles. We'll go ahead and select test article 2 
and we will edit this article. Everything looks pretty much the same except now in this publishing options section you have an expiration date. You can notice that it is set to 30 days out but we're gonna go ahead and change that to yesterday. As you can see it's the 14th and we're gonna set it to the 13th. So we're gonna go ahead and click Save we come back to our home page you'll notice the article is still there however as soon as we run cron and we come back to the home page and refresh you'll notice that the article 2 is no longer on the front page if you take a look at article 2 here you will see that the promoted to front page option is no longer checked so if we check that just to show that it go, you can get it back it's back on the front page however if we run cron again it's not going to go away anymore because we specified the option to only run the node expiration event once for this article so you can see if we refresh the page the test article 2 is still going to be there so that's really all there is to the node expire module. You can do a whole bunch of cool things with it. You can use rules to really react on that event however you want and perform a whole bunch of cool actions. So go ahead and give the module a try. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out all the content, the ebook, and a whole bunch of other videos and blog posts on CodeKarate.com. And follow me on Twitter at SMThomas3. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.